Hi guys, Colleen here with um, a glue book vid. So today I thought I'd come on and introduce you to a new sort of glue book that I'm going to start. So if you've seen any of my other videos, these are my two glue books. Um, and in both of these books I work at a page a time. So I either get a magazine, um, go through it, pick out some pictures that I like, stick them on a page, or this was a freebie kit, and these two are my freebie kits in my Facebook group, and I work exactly the same way in this one, but just not on camera usually. So, some people might recognise this, um, it's a big happy planner. Um, and I'm not planning at the minute, so I have quite a few of these in various sizes. But I chose the biggest one, because I'm going to start and do a collection glue book, or an en masse glue book. Um, so this idea um, I got from Shannon Green on Facebook on oh, Facebook, sorry, on YouTube, and I'll link her video down below. Um, so it's basically, let's see if we can get this in, in one shot, mm, sort of. Um, so inside we've got um, lots of tabs. Now these, some of these were on an on dated planner so you have nothing on this tab and Mambi did some scrapbook paper pads so I have two of them in here and then this is a planner page and then you've got a new section another tab so this one has October on it so I'll need to cover that up so basically you make a list of things that you want to put into the sections of your glue book. So for example, my first section is going to be butterflies. And so I'll pop butterflies on the tag. And then whenever I find a picture of a butterfly that I like, I'll come here and I'll stick it down. Um, so the next one will probably be dragonflies and again every time I find a dragonfly image I'll come in and stick it in that section. Now the good thing about the Happy Planner is if I don't find a lot of pictures of something I can easily take a page out or if I have too many and need another page it's really easy to pop a page in. If you're going to do a collection um, glue book, you really, I think you really need something sort of A4 size. Um, you could use a sketch pad, you could use, um, some people have taped two or three large magazines together and use that. So all these pages will be full of different things. So this might be purple flowers, this section. Um, and how many sections you want um, is up to you. So this one actually, I have some memory keeping in here. This is what I use this for. So I'm actually going to keep these in here and just have this section as family. Um, our memory keeping section. Um, even if I don't add to it, it's still just a little section in my glue book. Um, and then we might go on to books. And again, we've pages to be filled with those images. So the, dif the difference really between this is you do a page at a time in this, or I do anyway. Um, and it's a lot smaller, a lot easier to fill. 
um, whereas when I have this all set up um, I'll do another video for you to show you it's set up but what will happen is I might have two books on this page and then I might have five mugs on this page and on this page I might have ten butterflies so you would go through and when you find it then you just come in and stick it down and you build up a page, a whole collage page of that collection so as I said I will come on when I've got all my categories um, I can see this getting very chunky very quickly um, but the good thing is have more discs so I can just take sections out and have a second one if I want to. So let me know down in the comments if you're going to try a collection blue book um, and what you're going to use for it um, and what are some of your categories that you might like to collect. Um, I will also leave the link to my Facebook group down in the comments. It's a glue book group, so it's glue book banter on Facebook. So that is my next project. So I just need to get my tabs um, sorted. And then I think I'm going to add to my little list of collections. Um, so that will be the next um, project. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you consider subscribing, that'd be even better. And I'll see you next time. Bye.